best medicine podcast with Simba. Sparking positive change in the community. Having real conversations and therapy. And you know the laughter's the best remedy. Got that heavy dose of humor for your hearts to heal. With mental health, it can't get any more real, yeah. Best Medicine Podcast. Laugh, love, learn. Best Medicine Podcast. Best Med Pod. It's your man, Simba Roar. Back in this thing. One more time, bro. And today, we have a special guest. Oh, I have special guests. And today ain't no different. Today, I have the illustrious pleasure of speaking to who I consider to be one of my little sisters out here in this game, man. She is maybe one-fourth or one-fifth of who I coined the the new wave of dope. You feel me? They got a collective and... They out. There's some young cats out here that's doing major things in it, out here with this with this artistic, ugh, just melodin, just ugh, ugh. <laughs> and they really out here, man. So today I have the pleasure of speaking to the one, the only Venus. What's that, Shotty? Hmm. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh, bashful ass. I am a little bit. Uh, hold on, let me. <clears throat> hey, what's up, y'all? What? <laughs> Yo. You know me, V. Hey, with my homie. You consider me your little sister? Hey, we out here, man. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What's happening? You gotta talk. I know. I'm like, oh, I'm so, so shy. Um, I'm I'm out here just chilling. I mean, I'm from New York. Yeah. Um, I hear my peoples in Cali doing everything. Honestly, I've been performing, trying to put myself out there. Yeah. Trying to get rid of my little stage fright. Trying to work on my vocals live. So when you hear the recording and then you hear the live, you're like, damn. She really can sing. She sound just I'm like that, that, that. Just like it. Or sound better than the recorder. Sound better. Better. Yeah. These. Yeah. Better. 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 <laughs> Here we go. Now you from New York. <laughs> oh, wait. No, let's not do it. <laughs> nah, they got from the town. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? You yeah, bruh. I was like, <laughs> earlier, I was like, yeah, bruh. You feel me? I you about to miss my birthday celebration, bruh. Yeah. Yeah, bruh. I'm like, niggas from the town got that that nasally ass. I love it. I love like, it. Yeah, bro. That accent is fire. Hey, bro. I ain't even. I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. Like, that's a f- I'm just out here trying to make it work, bro. I'm just trying to make a dollar out of it, team, bro. And I ain't even got a nickel, bro. Nothing, bro. Bro, I haven't said bro so much <laughs> since I lived out here. Honestly, yeah. I say bro like every second. I'm like. I never said bruh <laughs> so much until I like moved here. Yeah. Yo, bruh, what up, bruh? You yeah. and you bruh. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro. Every, everybody's bruh. Like, every <laughs> chicks is bruh, dudes is bruh. Like, we all That's a fact. Part. I like it. Yeah, bruh isn't gender specific. That's good. I like that. Definitely not gender specific. So, what is, what's some, what is a culture shock from you being from New York and seeing, seeing the town and seeing the bay? Cause you in San Francisco, so you yeah. don't see too many niggas. Nah, that's a f- wow. You can say that. I can say whatever I. Oh, say. Oh. All right. Our show. Okay, bet. Shout out to Young Casanova, the producer extraordinaire hey. behind the Yo. ones and twos, man. Um, for me, I'm from like a small town, Utica, three one five. What I'm not saying, New York. Um, I'm not from like the boroughs. Everybody, Brooklyn, Harlem, all that. Like, yeah, we go there, but you know what I mean. I'm from upstate, but. The thing that shocked me the most is all the homeless people. Facts. Oh my gosh. And I'm actually seeing people do drugs yeah. out on the street. Like just the other yesterday, yeah. I'm walking down the street, shorty there, and she just I'm like Ooh, too This is fun. crazy. I'm like, yo, this is what they teach us in school, but like <laughs> I'm really seeing it. Yeah. 
And it's just, it's just every day I see it. It's just that ass shit has only happened in the Recent. past really? three to five years, bro. Really? It was never this. The bad, drugs man. are like the homeless the people. Homeless. The homeless. homeless San Francisco and drugs is synonymous, but the homeless because we about to get deep real quick. The homeless, the homeless situation isn't just they not bum. Yeah, they're choosing. I they, know. No, 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 not even that. Not even choosing. Some like some of them are choosing. Yeah, but not even choosing. But these are people who just lost their hopes. So when you see them, like Oakland is tent city now, mm-hmm. and and that's because you feel me. Bums don't have money for tents. Yeah, these are people with houses. That's why you see they whole house be right in front of their right tent. there. Yeah. So these are people with with they, this, yeah, yeah these people have jobs they just can't, they oh, just really? can't don't have places to live wow. a lot of them a lot of them are like especially the ones in those big tents yeah you know I can see the little run down tents mm-hmm. or makeshift tents or just sleeping out on the street but, right right but when you got nigga couches and I definitely drawers that. and dressers and shit like mm-hmm. that that's just you lost your house and now you just moved on the block. Right. It's never, it was never like this. And then you got people, you know, migrating. Your transplant ass coming from a different place, make, making our fucking traffic 30 minutes <laughs> later and shit, like the everywhere whole, we go. The whole day is commute hours now. Because of niggas, right. because that's niggas yeah, that's right. Right. That's right. Get out my town. Hours, look, look, look we got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at us. Opportunity here. We got to make connections. Yeah, you know no, no, opportunity. Nah. So, what brought you here? <laughs> <laughs> what brought <laughs> School, Academy of Art University, studying acting. I am an actress. First, I don't do acting. Yeah, Cass was like, so you do acting? I was like, huh? Yeah, I do acting. First first and foremost, shout out to your sister, Shahai. I- the love bug. Yo, shout out to you. you so, I'm going to ask you this question. D- does your parents know what you do? Yeah. Okay, bet. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because not- hers don't. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. Oh, am I... Am I, am I- Spilling the tea. Oh, I, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Sip the tea tonight. Hey. I didn't know. My mama knows. Like, my mom was like, yeah, go ahead, baby. Let's make it. Let's get this money. Get me out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Do you. Do whatever we got to do to get the exposure. Right, so, right. Yeah, she definitely know what I'm doing. Why um, San Francisco as opposed to LA? Um, that's a good question. It is. Honestly, I have good questions. I was just- <laughs> Good, this is a good show, my guy. No, that's a great. fact. That's a fact. Great Tune show. in. Turn it up. Oh, shit, speaking of which. <laughs> um, honestly, I think because I was in school for psychology. Mm-hmm. And um, I was just looking up. I just couldn't get the acting out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love psychology so much. So I was torn between the two of acting and then staying in psychology doing all the articles and writing essays for days. I'm like, I don't really want to write essays right now. I'm not in the mood. I got too much energy. I'm vibrant. I want to I want to act. I want to just be out there. So I was just looking up schools, and that liter- like literally was the first school that popped up. And I'm like, and Cali? Yeah. Shit, I'm going to do that. Oh, you I'm better do, do that. It. My people were like, California girl, whatever. You ain't going to Cali. Back. Back. I'm here, though. <laughs> Some little insider joke for myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's like you basically just said, "Fuck it, I'm going." Like, yeah, we yeah. out here. That's yes, yeah. Honestly, honestly, um, I didn't really have a plan. I just was like, "I'm going to school in California," and it's either you believe me or not. Because either uh, way, I'm going. She said, "But I believe in myself, though." And that's right. all. You know what I mean, my mom was okay. My mom, she like, I'm with you, whatever you do. So, Let's at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's good. So, And that's what really matters. It's like... I got a camera now. Oh, we too high up here. Damn. Cute. Um, Pause it. And that, that really just shows the faith that you have in yourself. Yeah. Because you just literally jumped out on faith. Honestly. 
I believe anything I put my mind to, I can do it. As you should. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, yeah, she's an R&B singer, y'all. Mm-hmm. Shout out your single. <laughs> shout out your single. Yeah, shout yourself out. Nah, I'm saying Venus, yeah, whatever. Saying, it's my me. first single. <laughs> it's on YouTube as well. Run them views up for shorty, you know what I'm saying? I can't do it by myself. I need you guys. <laughs> um, my second single is coming, but it's not... It's like a dance hall bop. I don't want to give you too yeah, much. I want to. Know what I'm saying? Song. It's Ooh. lit. June 29th or June 30th, 29th, 30th. Don't quote me. <laughs> One of them days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so is this is this your first time recording your music? Yeah, I started recording it for consumption. I should say. Yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah. I was terrified. I can't even lie. Like, still get nervous. Like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm mad scared, though. I'm shaking. Nah. Like, what if I drop it? Like, what if, what if, what if, what if? And it's just so much going through my mind. And I'm like, bro, I'm scared. <laughs> what if somebody don't like my voice, but I sing nice? Like, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like my voice. I know, but I don't know how y'all feel about it. And when I get excited, my voice go up. <clears throat> yeah. So that's what just happened right there. <laughs> just so that she knows. So it's it's really good that you got that support system because a lot of the times, especially when it's when it comes to this creative shit, mm-hmm. parents is like, "How are you about to get some money?" Oh, I thought you was gonna say something else. I was waiting. <laughs> That's really it. Like they, like I personally don't have any parents. So, I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. Mm-hmm. So, I can just live my... I can die right now and, like, it'd be no problem. Like, oh, damn. Because it's like, I've never... It's not like, oh, I didn't buy my mama a house. Or, okay. I didn't, you know, provide for my family. Mm-hmm. It's just me. Like, I'm good. Like, if okay. if I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Um, so, it, and especially when people, especially... Um, Especially women, like the daughters, are like it's a little bit of pressure for y'all a to lot of pressure. live up to expectations that my mom or granny didn't reach. But hey, yeah, and now you like have to people, reach. All, you people. have to. <laughs> you have to reach all of the goals. Yeah, and get everybody up out of there. Mm-hmm. One person. Yeah, and that's way too much pressure. I mean, I would assume so. I'm not a black woman, yeah. so I don't know. It is a lot of pressure. (laughs) It's so much pressure. It's so much pressure from everything. Just being a black woman in general. It's just pressure from every aspect of the world. Everything. Just, fuck. It's too much. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. But honestly, I do have, like, a lot of people that that doubt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A couple of family members, blah, blah, blah. That doubt. She ain't always gonna make. She ain't gonna make that. Yeah, like, why are you going to school for acting? I'm like, dang, don't you guys love watching movies? Sucks. I don't understand. You know what I mean? Y'all spend money on movies every month. Every. (laughs) And the crazy thing about it is, like, art is just. I feel like it. You can make money off of what you believe that you're doing. You like how? How am I gonna phrase this? Like, if you believe in what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, and you feel like that's what's gonna make you money, you are gonna make money from that. Period. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what anybody. Period. For real. Like that's. Even if you don't. Even if you're not I woke up. doing, you know, publicized shit. Yeah. Because you can make a whole career just writing music. Uh, look. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. It's true. And I write my own songs. Every single thing that you're going to hear, what I put out is all my writing. You know right. what I'm saying? I would love to write for famous people. If I can write and background singers too That's they make bread they don't even bread. gotta be you know what I mean they're on stage right. boom they're touring right. so they can live the life without even being having the pressures of the spotlight you know what I mean pressures you still my, what I want out of life is to be able to provide for myself and nobody even know who the fuck I am that's dope <laughs> I like that like I don't I don't need a nigga to be like hey what's up Sam? like Leave me the fuck alone. I feel it. I like yes. doing, even, even doing this podcast. I'll just be like, they just know who I am. And it's like, eh, I don't want. What does it make you feel? Uh, the, it really depends on the person. But it, especially like the, the, the places we frequent, mm-hmm. it's all family. It's all yeah, love. Like So 
it's not really weird yet, mm-hmm. but I feel like when this shit comes out mm-hmm. and if it hit, or even if it don't hit, but even if it gets like circulated, yeah, and and I'm just at fucking getting a burger. Oh yeah, oh Yo, you, you, yeah, you, you the nigga to do that podcast, huh? Yeah, bro, what's up, bro? Because <laughs> niggas is weird, bro. That's a niggas fact. Is really weird, That's a fact. and I never wanted, I never <laughs> wanted to phone? be, fam. fam. I never wanted to be that that uh, that fan mm-hmm. who was like, "Oh, can we get a picture?" Like, like I've met my like top artists. You feel me? That I was that I'd just be like, "Yo, I'd never ask for a picture." I've met this person multiple times. Mm-hmm. Never asked for a picture. I've asked for I asked for an autograph the first time I met them, mm-hmm. but after that, it was just like. Yo, this is a conversation right now. Yeah. Like, I'm because not, I don't too. want nothing from you. Yeah, yeah, I don't want nothing from you. I mm-hmm. see you. What's up? Chuck the Deuce is a deuce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I went to the comedy show the other day in the city, and I'm I'm finding a park, and I see the nigga just walking down the street. I'm like, yeah, that nigga go right there. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Schultz. I went to go see, and shout out to Andrew Schultz. I was like, yo. I was like, yo, Schultz. He turned around. He was on his phone. He turned up. I was like, I'm about to see you in a minute, bro. I'm front row. He was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 and kept it moving. And then afterwards, afterwards, uh, he stayed and shook hands and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I was like, bro, that was me in the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I was sitting front that row. Was, yeah, that was me. Like, what's good? Yeah. Like, just little shit like that. Like, I don't want too much time from you. Like, mm-hmm. last time he was here, I chopped it up with you. Like, okay. what's up, yeah. bro? Made a little joke to him and cut. Like, mm-hmm. I don't need to. I don't need a picture to tell everybody I met you. Bro. I feel it. I feel it. Leave niggas alone. Yeah, bro. most people they just doing it for the clout. It's just what it's it like, is. Oh, I took this picture with this person. Mm-hmm. All right, so the fuck what, nigga? <laughs> you still at your life yeah, though, right? Yeah, like, oh, okay, what that picture doing? Nothing, just mm-hmm. on the gram now. Mm-hmm. And you are gonna be mad if you don't get no likes off of it. That part. <laughs> so you got a picture with Beyonce, but you only got six likes. You hot? Because you ain't shit. Beyonce is though. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care for the fame and all that other stuff. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can say is I do want people to know me mm-hmm. because I have a story to tell. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And the more people I can tell it to, you know, that's that's like really my goal. Like, yeah. I just want to share my story with as many people, don't matter gender, whatever. It don't, it don't matter. Like, I just have a story that I need to put out to the world because I've been through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I feel as though with the fans and people knowing you, it's like, yeah, what's up? You know what I mean? The same thing. Like, I would like for them to come talk to me, chop it up, whatever, whatever. We could talk about some real deep shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yo, how you feel? Oh, word? That's, you want to do this right yeah. now? All right, bet. And yeah. Starbucks is not blah, 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 like yeah. that, you know? Um, and I, those are the real connections. It's yeah. not just like, I'm wanting to take this picture with you because it's going to give me likes. Yeah. Like, yeah. have a real conversation. And that's, I feel like that's just me in day to day. Like, if I don't have a connection with somebody, it's like, it's, you can't really be in my life, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. There's no substance there. I'm not learning or I'm not teaching. It's, it's nothing that's circulating. It's just, what's up? It's just air, you know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. that's the... It's not important at all. It's, yeah. It's just, it's cotton candy bullshit. Yeah. There's no substance there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we... We we think of these celebrities like they're gods and they're not. They're just people with a job. I said that Legit. shit. I said that shit about the police. I was like, motherfuckers, like the police, like that the fucked up police think they're above people. Yeah, it's like no, yep. you are uh, just a regular nigga with a job. That's just that. And your job makes you carry a gun. Mm-hmm. You ain't mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> you feel me? Like, that you is. Know? You really not shit. I shouldn't respect you. I don't respect you just because you're a person. You're you're you have this job. I don't give a fuck about your job, nigga. Like, if you a bitch ass nigga, you a bitch ass nigga with a gun, nigga. Like, Basically, that's all in a was, uniform. That's yeah, what it is. That's all it is. Yeah. And I really don't like how like these fan bases be idolizing celebrities so much. It kind of freaked me out. You know what I mean? It kind of scares me to. Do I want to? What if I reach up there? Do I want that? I don't want them to see me as you know, like I, I am a goddess. I right. tell myself that, but I don't that need you right. to, you know what I mean, put me on that pedestal yeah. like that, like because I'm the same as everybody in this room. You yeah. know what I mean? So let's not do that. 
All I'm doing is performing for y'all. That's it. it. I'm just like you. You can sing too. Let's get up there and stage (laughs) and sing together. So there's no difference. Uh, When when was your first performance? Ever in life? Yeah. I think, oh, fifth grade? Mm. Fifth grade? Yes, I remember. What Destiny's Child song did you sing? No, it wasn't even that. I was in the musical. And I think we were singing about shining lights and candles. Okay. So I was, you know, the the singer. Mm. And I'm like, oh, I remember too because I had my lip gloss. And I'm like, mommy, I go up there and I'm like. (sighs) And I just sang for everybody. And after that, I'm like, this is what I want to do. I like this shit. I like to perform in front of you. They going crazy. I'm like, y'all like that? Y'all like me? <laughs> gas this little so, girl yeah, head yeah, up. Yes, gas me all the way. Y'all created a monster. Honestly, from fifth grade <laughs> on, like, that's just, you kept going the up. Monster. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. What about uh, coming out here? My first performance out here was, ooh, hold on. Hmm. You can take a second. <laughs> In class. Okay. Oh my God! What was it? Beyond speech. Beyond school. Beyond school. Beyond school. Like I'm. This is me as an artist. Okay, so uh, beyond school. Damn. What was the first one? I asked you questions. Thought, thought That's really a good question. Because I did the that that yeah. the American Idol don't count. Yeah, that's that's the story we're gonna get to. Yeah, cause that was some bullshit. <laughs> um, damn, what was my first performance? Bruh, just I think about it. Know. Just think about it's it. Crazy. Let's we'll, get back to that. Yeah, we'll, we'll Somebody get to it. Somebody know this. We'll, we'll get to it. Um, American Idol. Talk about it. Man, all right. So For real, I'm curious. <laughs> I, I'm sick. I think it was 2017. They said they was having. I don't know, 2017, whatever it was. You've been out here for a having, minute. Yeah, I've been I think, three years, four years, Damn, something that's like crazy. that. But um, we just met, guys. Yeah, and I'm just putting myself out there, just Thanks. like now, like that. <laughs> but um, American Idol, they said the auditions was in Jack London Square in yes. Oakland. I'm like, yes, oh my is. god. Okay, I gotta go to Oakland. All right, but you know, I had a short hair. I cut my hair so it was slick. Yeah. I went there, and that was the worst shit ever in life. Yo, American Idol. Oh, I'm sick. Okay, so boom, right? I don't care. Now the new year coming out because I'm sick. So, boom. so listen though, we go, we go. I go there. It's beaming hot. Yeah. It's hot. I'm like, mm, I, I ain't bring no water. I didn't know it was gonna be this hot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm dry mouth. I'm like, I'm gonna sing like this. Waiting in line <laughs> for hours. And then they got tents set up. Yeah. One, two, three, four tents set up. Mind you, mind you, Jacqueline the Square, it has a what train going? Yes. Bruh, I'm singing for this lady, singing Whitney Houston, got my spin on it. Mm. Mind you, she making me sing the whole song. So I'm like, I got this. Yeah. I'm in there. She dubbed me. Uh, she's like, oh, she's all doing all of this. It sounds so lovely. It sounds so beautiful. Thank you, Paul Abdul. Oh my gosh, she had me fucked up. Talk about some. It's really lovely, but you know, when you sing a Whitney song, you gotta really come. I'm like, facts. I understand that, Don't but sing no I'm Whitney not Whitney. I'm singing. No, that's a crazy thing. I wasn't. I was singing my heart out. But it's Whitney. And, but and little Mariah Carey notes you in there. Compete, you competing with Whitney though? I don't think people should even sing. Mariah Carey. I didn't know what to sing. This was, I was terrified. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I gotta do something that people know. I don't wanna. So I just automatically thought, okay, my favorite Whitney. Um, Saving All Love. Oh my God. And you sound that song. You gotta do something different with that song. I'm telling you, I killed it. I even switched it up and everything. She had me, everybody was like, Damn, she's still going because yeah. nobody sung that long. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yes, I'm in here. And then she did that. And then one of the dudes that was next to me couldn't sing for shit. But he had more people with him, like mm. his you know, family, whatever. Yeah. They was hyping him up, going uh-huh. crazy. Got through. I'm like, you got to be kidding But that's the nigga that they roasted on the episode. I know. And that's what I don't nigga. like. Yeah, you don't want to be the That's why else. I don't fuck with American mm-hmm. Idol. You guys don't do it for the talent. You they do don't. it for the views. And then you want to put people up there in front of national mm-hmm. television and you're going to do that. That's fucked up. Yeah. And you want to gas these people up like they can sing. My homegirl had that same that same uh, situation. She went for American Idol and she killed that shit. And she's a great singer. Yeah. She didn't make it past the first round. I'm like, yeah, what do you, y'all don't, y'all don't know what y'all want. They or don't. Y'all do know what y'all want. It just ain't good. 
people. They don't. They want the people to, like, bare minimum, okay, we can throw a pop song and uh-huh. it'll be good. And then they do want the people that they can clown, which yeah. is fucked up. They don't really want vocalists. Yeah, which I hate. Hmm. Yeah. They don't want vocalists. They just want good singers. You, they're looking for an American idol. They're not Whatever looking, that is. They're not looking for... <laughs> The best singer. No, and I hate that because I felt like all my life I've been waiting to go on American Idol, seeing Fantasia. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great, Ruben. And I'm like, I'm going to do this. And then years later when you get older, you're like, mm, this a flop. But this ain't bullshit. what it is. Yeah. Fuck that. bullshit. Yeah. Did that discourage you from doing some, like a competition like that again? Honestly, a little bit. But then I was like, I'm going to do something that's less. So if, you know, I get rejected, it won't hurt so much. You yeah. know what I mean? So then I went to my school and they had their own version of Academy Idol. That's what it's okay. called. And yeah, that's when I met Shahad. Yeah. Shout out to Shadi. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was really fun too. I was nervous. Yeah. I was so nervous. I was like, <laughs> I'm about to do this. And everybody watching me, the judges there, I'm like, bro, why, <laughs> why am I up here? Yeah. Like, I'm wilding. And I'm like, no, nah, you know what? Do this, do this. And that was before I even became Venus. You know what I'm saying? I was just, look, Kira Monet. That's my stage name. You know what I'm she got you fire me. <laughs> yeah, that's my middle name. Yeah. Shout out to my mommy, Katrina. <laughs> Love you. But yeah, um, it did decur- uh, discourage me. But after I did Academy, I was like, bruh, I want to perform all the time. Everywhere. Everywhere. I'm yeah. like, let's do this. Let's go. I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Like, I get Horror. excited in an angry way. It's like, yo. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm gentle, though. I'm gentle. <laughs> you got to balance. She's a sweet little girl. Um, I'm a grown woman. I know. <laughs> um, today was like 95 degrees. And this is probably the only episode that I don't have a hat on. Oh, yeah? And I'm wearing this, this you know, <laughs> tie-dye shirt because it's small and, and white and it doesn't absorb heat. This is the heat wave episode with Venus. Heat? Because, you know, I bring that fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's a fact. And me coming here with black... Uh, no one is <laughs> she has a onesie on I ain't zip it up but look <sighs> shorty wildin mm. <laughs> <laughs> with the oh, oh. She has a, a pop this off real onesie quick onesie on what up fan your actual <laughs> hair <laughs> that shit breathe <laughs> <laughs> but you'll still breathe yeah facts man oh my god I've been taking my hat off like yeah oh yeah I was through I've been um I've been working at um I've been working at the wine, working at the summer camp with kids, and they got me playing dodgeball yes. in this hot ass gym. I'm soaked. <laughs> I'm like, fam, <laughs> I can't do this. Like, y'all want to go outside? Like, because <laughs> it's hot. Yes, like, I can't. I'm not doing this with y'all. But it's even worse out there, though. Nah, it is. There's no was, wind blowing. I mean, it was better today. True. Yesterday I stayed in all day. I couldn't go nowhere. I couldn't. Yeah. I was out. <laughs> out like a lake. Hey, yo, like a lake. Hey, yo. <laughs> I but yeah, this is definitely the heat wave episode. So if I, you know, am white and wiping my face a lot, I'm not geeked up. It's just about like ninety degrees in the crib. Yeah. And I'm struggling to keep it together. <laughs> Should throw some water on him, huh? You gonna throw some water at me? Throw some water. Throw some water on me. So, it. when is the last time you had a um a water fight? Ooh, that was one year before I came out to Cali. I got all my homies. I'm like, yo, I bought mad water balloons. My mom not home, so she won't be crying for the water. My water bill going up. Yay, hey, ma! I'm <laughs> trying to have some fun. You know, do do do. Got my little sister. They got their little. You know, yeah, exactly. Boop, boop, boop. You know what that is? Tie them balloons up. Yeah. Um, and then we tie the balloons up. <laughs> we got a bag. We put them in the bag, and then it's like, all right, you ready? Yeah. Your mark. Get set. Go. Pull that back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My little sister. She's so overprotective. Yeah. You know, don't hit my sister. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> but yeah, 
Like, you want to have a what about? Yo, I have friends now. So, like, yo, as an adult, I don't, wasn't going anywhere. Like, niggas, I'm a homebody. I feel you. I be in the crib all day, all night, and I don't fuck with niggas like that. <laughs> don't fuck with <laughs> So now, like, Yo. within these past two months, knowing meeting all of y'all niggas mm-hmm. and fucking with y'all niggas. It's making you go out, right? And I'm, I mean, because I'm I'm doing, I'm getting booked for yeah. gigs yeah, and yeah. shit. So I'm meeting hella people and everybody know each other. Everybody kicking with each other already. Yeah, yeah. So, nigga, we can have some fucking water fights, nigga, right. now. It's lit. Bring some super soakers out. Bruh, oh God. Go Why to a barbecue. Not, bro, get a barbecue. Don't play with me. Only guy with one of us was sneaking in just no, I'm saying no, yeah, that'll be lit. Like I'm yeah. really talking. I'm for real though. When you get back, we are gonna talk about it. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Oh yeah, because it's it's just on it. Pop. Have you know a couple have a couple performances. We. No, I'm right, saying right, because right, I right. legit make it real. Make it real. Make it real. He want the what you want? Make it real. She hit that. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking crazy, but no, I just legit just bought Pictionary and Uno with my roommate. So. Yeah. No. Game Never night, too. Yeah, no, let's saying. do it. Let's cool. do it. Barbecues. Uh, so, Kaz had some questions. Yeah. Yes, I did. <sighs> Why are you scared? <laughs> I always get nervous. So, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of backstory. They've been in each other's DMs talking for a while, and Kaz is a, is a real ass nigga. So, he's like, yo. I really want to talk to Venus, like in person. Yeah. Cause she's dope as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, bless you. Hold on. <laughs> Cause it's like, 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 Brad, you be so hyped. And I'll, I'll be like, Ugh. Yeah. I'll be like, Ugh. Like, yeah. <laughs> but at the, at the same time, it's like you're shy, and I'm shy, but yeah. I'll also be. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, like, it's like I'm talking to myself. Yeah. But you're like totally not myself. So it's like, what the, like <laughs> I want to get to know you so I, I can it. know myself. Oh. I'm not on that type of shit. Yeah, for sure. I like that. Just because it's like we have similar shit. And mm-hmm. it's like, you know, I I can't think about myself. I mean, I can. Mm-hmm. You can do some self reflection. Yeah, know, yeah. But you can also self reflect by talking to. Everybody people, else. yeah. Definitely. You can learn things from other people yeah. that you didn't even know. Then you think about it, you're like, wait, I do that too. So now you learn about yourself too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, ask away. Like, just you. recently, on uh, like two weeks ago, I, I I did my first performance, and I did a freestyle. What? All things Yo, like, Kaz, bro. Oh, shut up, Kaz. Yo, my nigga, Casanova, the producer extraordinaire, walked up. He was the closer, fam. He was the headliner okay. at Liege last Wednesday, fam. He got up there. She was like, shout out to Tiffany. Tiffany. Shout out to Tiffany. Tiffany. Shout out to speak on it. Um, He went up there after her immaculate introduction. Was, yeah, that shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> His first words was like, yo, she... Intro the fuck out of me. <laughs> like, how do I follow up with yeah. that introduction? <laughs> like, damn. Okay. She was giving you like, let's go. Yeah. The baton. This man has her. never performed anything. What? Never. Dang. How you feel? That's cool. cool. He got up there and did like a three minute comedy set. And then <laughs> he was just shouting niggas out and talking and shit. And then what? and then he got into his freestyle. Yeah. And Where's then, the performance? Oh, I'm gonna show you, girl. Oh, oh, you wanna show oh I'm gonna show you, girl. Ooh, wait. <laughs> he killed that shit. Hey, he had motherfuckers coming up to him like, "Yo, did you? What's up, bro?" Like, yeah. they was confused. They, they was like, "You do comedy, nigga?" <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. Legit, bro. Like, I was just out there speaking. Motherfuckers was. Cr- Dying, and I'm like, all right, like, uh. you funny. Okay, bet. Yeah. What was get? What's a joke? Tell me a joke. Nah, it wasn't even like that. Why? Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. He wasn't telling jokes. I was, I was, he was just being him. He was just talking, <laughs> and it was hilarious. Bet. Literally, <laughs> and it was hilarious. And then he freestyled like, and then like to a point where he was like, um, 
he was like, man, I don't even know what to say right now. Like, y'all give me a word. And I was like, love. He was like, love. He was like, that's cool. Because when I first thing I think about when I think about is love is when I think about pain. I was like, okay. Oh, can you yes. Yo, this your homie for real. You see why? I know. You my homie for real. Yes. 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 Everywhere we go, I be- Best man pod, like, 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 I love bro. it. I we love got it. a rep, bro. Mm-hmm. We got a rep hard, bro. Damn, I want to see. I can't wait yeah, to see no, I'm gonna show you. That's a fact. I'm gonna show you. So yeah, he's been. Kaz has been getting out of his show for sure, for sure. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So like, and that's that comes from hanging out with y'all and like y'all and like so you know Tiffany, the home speaker, and like just yeah. creative people. It's like like that's like. Why not be creative? No, the right. I feel like the energy that I give you is like, yo, free to be yourself. Yeah. We're not judging you. We're not going to laugh at you. Do you. Yeah. I feel like that's why that energy that they give you is like, dang, I want to do something. I want yeah. to get up there too. Yeah. It's my time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Should I, I perform like uh, You did. At, uh, shout out to Majestic June. You performed, bro? I performed at uh, the last Energy Cypher. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You performed, bro? I, I performed at Cut Ball. Really? On, yeah, the, on Sunday. What? Oh, I'm Bruh, Sunday. people were yeah. stopping by just to hear this man on the mic. What? What were you doing? And all he was I saying was, "Come talk to the to our event." Oh yeah, and then, <laughs> and then and then and then yeah, and then I was hosting, and then I was like, I was like, I was like fake hosting while like nothing was happening, yeah. just trying to get circulation and stuff like that. And people were stopping. Yeah, by. it was cool. Oh, like I'm, a, I'm a natural Put performer. Energy, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I'm a natural performer. I just don't, you know, do. Shit. Yeah, you know? I feel it. Like you're kind of behind the scenes. Like, like I can host all y'all events. That's li- I believe it. Cause I believe it. I, believe <laughs> I, can, I can for sure yeah. host y'all events, man. <laughs> but yeah, we work it out. But yeah, the creativity and the love that that y'all have been showing me and him has helped us creativity creatively. Um. Shout out, shout out your uh, collective real quick. Dang, there's people. Majestic. What are y'all here. called? What are y'all called first off? Well, I'm like, okay, so I, I'm a part of like this 3-3 FM with Bulistic, Adam. Oh, man, there's so many people. So many people. <laughs> Afro. Yes, Afro, Akili, Zo, Shahad. And then, Shade. you know, Nami, and then I go out and then, you know, Majestic be like, yo, what's up? I'm like, what's up, shorty? Right. What, you, what you trying to do? So, shout out to Majestic, because that's my girl, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So, Fire. it's like, it's not even, I don't know, it's just, yeah. we all, we don't got like a name. I'm we just, telling you, I'm telling you. We love. That's they, what that is. They are the new wave of dope, bruh, and none of them is from out here, except for, except for Majestic. Yeah. But none of them is from out here, mm-hmm. bruh. The real and, ones link up, know what I'm saying? And they all have come together to form a Voltron of dopeness, bruh. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> when they, when, oh my god, I swear to god, if you ever seen them together, wow. Like, the synapses that are sparking, <laughs> Because everybody is fucking animated. Everybody. Legit. Everybody. So then don't don't invite me somewhere. <laughs> Cause now I'm an addition to the animation. <laughs> That's <laughs> so my God. What? He's snapping on everybody. It's hilarious. Because I'm because I'm I'm the OG with the slick mouth out here. That part. <laughs> that's that's your name. OG with the slick, y'all. I'm about to change his contact. OG name. slick mouth. OG slick mouth. Word. <laughs> Yo, that's that is you. Yeah. I like it. OG slick mouth. OG slick mouth, bro. <laughs> About here. I love it. But I feel like when we all, even like all of us, like yeah. when we went out to eat yeah. after that shit was just, boop, 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 boop. Yeah. it was just mad love. Yeah. Fun as hell. Facts. Like, Facts. oh my gosh. I love y'all. And like I said, like we don't know each other that that for we haven't known each other for that long. But when it gets when it comes to this creativity, bro, this is immediate family. Yeah, immediate family. Mm-hmm. I just I just want I just love and I appreciate y'all because, like I said, I'm the OG, and y'all inspire me to keep being dope. 
It's like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't want to feel like being dope today. And then I'll just like <laughs> hit your IG story and you just being dope as fuck. And I'm just like, <laughs> let me dust my dopeness <laughs> off real quick. Let me dust my dopeness <laughs> off real quick, bro. Because these motherfuckers are going, is going to get me, bro. <laughs> They all, they trying to catch up to me. That's yeah. a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. And I, you wake up, that's your crush. Your crush your yeah. Like yeah, and I'm saying, like, oh, yeah, I feel refreshed today. I'm on that level. What's up? That's facts. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I'm glad that I get, that I know y'all because, shit, I mean, I, I'm going to just, be, I honestly would just be out here just taking random pictures. Like, y'all, <laughs> y'all give me a reason to take pictures. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Y'all give me a reason to do to do my work. And it's like, I love when I get to go home and just be like, look at all these goddamn pictures I took today. No, yo, you'll be st- <laughs> like, always ready. You'll be snapping. <laughs> I love it. But that's good. You capture the real true moments. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The real love. And you can see it through the pictures as yeah. well. So when you post it, I'm like, oh, even if I'm not there, I'm like, oh, look yeah. at the... Oh, that's yeah. cute. Yeah, for real. And like, usually I'd be the only nigga there taking pictures. So, yeah. like, there's so many memories that would have just been lost. Mm-hmm. You're like, yeah, of course it's on IG or whatever like yeah. that, but them shits go in 24 hours. That's a, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> My shit is solidified. And I got y'all back. That's a fact. I'm we the, got your back too, fam. What I'm the big out here, man. <laughs> uh, Cass, question, y'all. Man, pause, pause. <laughs> so this is this is the the part that rarely happens. Cass wants to interview you. He wants to interview you, and I'm gonna let her interview you because this is gonna be. Fucking amazing. <laughs> so I'm gonna get behind the camera and Cass is gonna get in front of the camera. This has literally only happened twice. This is the second time this has happened. Yeah. I don't know. Speaking of majestic, my, my sis is in the building. Majestic, hey. what's up, baby? My sis is in the yes. building. What's up, mama? Cass, come on, bro. Right. We love you, Majestic. Just we know. definitely love you. Now. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ooh, you warm, bro. Grab my butt. <laughs> Probably booty sweat. <laughs> <laughs> booty sweat. <laughs> da, 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 booty sweat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's terrible. Um, shit, yo. Welcome to the show, What's up with it? Um, what's up with it? Facts. Yeah, <laughs> no. Nah, she hit me on some like. Has your voice always been this deep? I was like, yeah. I swear his voice wasn't that deep the first time I met him, and then I listened <laughs> like, to his cause, stories. Cause, he like. Yo, I'm like, yo, your voice. Because most of the, most of the time I be hyped. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He do, he do. Yeah. 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 And then when I heard it, I'm like, ooh. Talking about that nasally Bay Area from the Bay. <laughs> no, I'm saying, yeah. I was yeah. like, damn. Let me. What's up? Voice over here. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna start with that one. I, this was gonna. This was like the last question that I came up with. And it was only because I like the way that you be reacting behind the camera. Because I peep that shit. But Why do I make you smile? Huh? Huh? Why do I make you, you smile? Man, I don't you. know. I definitely don't know. But, like, if I'm just minding my business and I look up and you look at I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you feel like you mad you. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know. I just have to start smiling. Start I just smiling. feel your energy. So, I'm like. Yeah. Oh, he radiates. Yes. Definitely. I'm like. Oh. I'm all good vibes, bro. That's a like, fact. I'm not trying to, like, no. Nah, That's I'm why just, I'm, I'm smiling. Just, yeah. I'm like. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna gas you up for no reason. I love it because it's on E. <coughs> I was on E too. <laughs> yeah, like to use one of my. So Shame is basically my Simba's my best friend. Shout out. Uh, I'm right here, man. Yeah, <laughs> I know, bro. But I'm I'm shouting you out so that if y'all fuck with me. Y'all best fuck with him. That's a fact. That's my best friend. Yes, yes. You feel me? Nah, so he is some shit. You know, I uh, I talk to him a a lot, and he'd be like, uh, uh, he says, "I love people for no reason." Facts, I do. Yeah. Like, there's no, I need this from you, or like, you can get me this. It's just like something about it. I love you. So it's like, 
That's not and it's not a lot of yeah, right. it's not a lot and of it's not a romantic like yeah. or anything like yeah. that. It's like I care about you. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of people. <clears throat> excuse me. What the hell was that? <laughs> um, nah, but there's not a lot of people like that. But we need more people like that because most people come with their bad intentions, and then you're like, bro, something's not. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm coming with pure light, and then you kind of throw me off. So what's up? You know what I'm so, saying? Like, so. what, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we definitely need more people like that. Shout out to you for being Dang. like that. You know what I'm saying? Dang. I'm not going to do it because I don't, don't want to get shot. No, nah, don't get shot. No, <laughs> we can't. We're kidding, y'all. We're kidding. Mm-hmm. We're joking. But, yeah. Okay, so that leads me to your other. But just to say, you make her smile, too. You make me smile, girl. Come <laughs> on. This is why I don't know how deep his voice is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I can't fight because my voice that is go up like that too. So I can't yeah, even. You know what I'm saying? Hype. Yeah. I be hyped. <laughs> man, nah. Shout out to Majestic. I, man, it's like if you took the energy that I had that when I do all this because I do landscape, so it's like I'm just physically working all day. Okay. She's like okay, okay, okay. energetically working yeah, all day. Yes, bro. like it's not like yeah. mindfully, spiritually, yeah. always all working. Shit. I just, love that. Yes, and I'm I so grateful to like, have met yeah. her. I swear, I'm like soul sister for real. Like me, her, and Shaha is like dang. I love us I so much. You know what I'm saying? Um, but not so. So you was talking about talk about intentions, and this shit is is relevant to my life and like what I'm going through. Okay. Uh, What's what's what, what's your experiences with, with as a as a woman with men in their intentions or even just people in their intentions? Are you scared of men? Am I scared? No, like, men are scared of me. Okay, let's okay. let's let's yeah, do yeah, that. Let's it. And it's not cocky; it's just true. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When they see a female that knows herself mm. in and out and isn't afraid to speak her mind, very opinionated. You know what I'm saying? And will stand her ground. Right. Men are like. Dang, I want a queen, but mm. I kind of want a princess. Cause you uh. know, like I just want somebody that's a little bit down. I don't want somebody that strong. Like you doing? Some, <laughs> like I want to kind of help you do what you do. But yeah, most men that I come across, I feel like just because I'm a what is it? Empath. In- Empath. In- In- Yes, you know, true. I'm very sensitive to people. I feel like I really attract people that need some sort of. I don't want to say help, you know what I mean? Yeah. But me, myself, I broke myself down, went through all my traumas, understood my traumas, meditated through it. So I know myself in and out. So when I meet people, the men that comes, they need they need something, you know what I mean? And yeah. I feel as though when I meet them, I give them something. But not it's them. not, you know, yeah, I don't, I don't really get anything in return because I'm giving all. I'm giving it. I'm giving it. I'm giving it. And then, and then you feel drained. Yeah, and drained like, as hell. I'm and I'm just like, bro, I can't do this. I just, I can't. You know, or like I said, their minds are so quick to like, they're just like, I don't want to say ADHD, but it's kind of like they can't focus. So they're just here and there and there and there and there. And me, even though I'm young, even when I was young, you know, I've always known who I, I don't know how to say it, like, what I want in life and what type of love I need, you know what I mean? But as I progressed throughout the years and met men, I'm like, damn, this really is solidifying what I don't need. And most of these men is what I don't need because, one, they distract me, you know what I'm saying? Because my feelings, they get, they there. And, you know, I turn up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm like, completely <laughs> wait a minute, bro. do it. Plus, my mom, she dramatic, too, so I watched her. But my mom... You could, you could give me a wink, and I'd be like... You know what I mean? <laughs> mom, hi! <laughs> or, like, if somebody break up with me, why? <laughs> Dude! Bad, just over nothing, nothing. Over nothing. You, yeah, yo, just, you, you wouldn't answer that phone call? I'd be like, mm. Okay. Not, but the crazy part is, though, even though my emotions be raw and so intense, I'm still chill. Yeah. No, I'm really, really chill. So yeah. it's like a balance. But if I'm really like in love with somebody, or like if I'm like really in love, I'm like, dang, they got me. They got my puppets. You know, like they yeah, they they pulling me. Yes, it's like damn. At any moment, I can just flip on them and not even do it in a bad bad way. Uh, yeah, not even do it in a bad way. But like, like I said, they they can do something that I don't want to. I don't. I don't want them to do it, and they yeah. do it, and I went. What? I, I can't take that shit. Why you hate me? That I was like, but then that was me younger. So now I'm grown and I understand the reasons why 
you know, I, I beast over things. Or if I get overly emotional, I understand why I do that. You know what I mean? So, mm. now I, I'm I ain't chilling. even there yet. I, I, I'm, like, coming to the realization that I be over emotional. And not, I don't want to say over emotional because we emotional. Yeah, You everybody. can't be. Yeah, yeah exactly. you know what I mean? You know, but you also got to, you can't, you, you have to, you know, like, like, be cool about, like, at my performance, right? And this, this is kind of like progress in my development, I feel like. And I'm the, each day, almost, some days not so much, but mm-hmm. some days I'll be like, man, like, where I was two days ago helped me grow to where I am today. Mm-hmm. Like, when I perform my piece, right, first mm-hmm. time I'm performing, I did a freestyle because I, I have a lot of insecurities. So I was like, you know, I was, I was talking to my man Shane. And I was like, thank we you. all do. Thank you. Um, I was like, I feel like my body's smart, but my mind is done. First two bars, and that's how. And I was, yeah. And that started as a conversation just with him. I was like, bro, if I ever start, if I ever spit something, like that's gonna be my opening. Be- and it was. Yeah. Okay. It, it okay. So so, and that came from a part where I was like, I know what I'm feeling. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how to process what I'm feeling. So it's like I be all over the place. Like I know I feel this, but it's like, what do I do? Like, should I feel this way? Or boom, 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 boom. So like mm-hmm. I like, you know, I feel like my body is like, yo, like I'd be hyped, I'd be excited, or I'd be something, but it's like I just don't know where to where to go. From See, that. and that's what I've been learning throughout these years, dealing with men and letting them in is First of all, society already fucked men up in general when it comes to emotion. You know what I mean? Like, you a man, don't feel this type of way. Or if you do feel it, don't show it or hide it. And then you see a lot of men that's angry. See a lot of men taking their frustrations out through cheating because they don't know how to express it. But you know what I mean? Like, I just feel as though society already, you know, fucked men up in general. But yeah. what I've really been noticing is that men really have strong emotions. Like, yeah. really strong, like... And it's crazy because they feel like females are, you know, so emotional. But it's crazy. Men, y'all, I swear y'all feel the same way that we feel. But the difference is, y'all so good at masking it because you started masking it since you was young. You know what I mean? Since we're young, we, oh, we gonna feel this type of way, you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But men, it's like, I've noticed so many of you guys are like emotionally unstable just because... When you really start feeling something you ain't never felt before, you like, damn, what do I do? You don't know what, what the do fuck I do, do, bro? Yeah. Like, nah, I gotta get rid of this girl. She making me feel something. I don't know, uh, bro. Yeah. She got to go. I that's don't facts. know what that is. You know what I'm saying? And it's and then that's why when I meet men and they actually open up to me and even saying, you know, that they're insecure, I'm like, oh, okay. So you one of those men? Yeah, so you you trying to figure out yourself? That's yeah. yeah, yeah. So you trying to figure out yourself? For oh, me, how I am, I like to study people. I study everything about a person right now, even anything, you know what I'm saying? But I really love studying the men, like the men, like y'all a whole nother song, <laughs> song here, like you're a test subject. I really do love studying men's emotions because it's so complex and it's so beautiful. But y'all be hiding it so much. But like I said, society don't raise y'all like that. To. Yes, yes. To. And I just feel as though if we can rewind it, and then reteach, you know, men how to get in tune with their emotions because you can't have it. It's like yin and yang. You gotta have the masculine, the masculinity, and the femininity. You can't just be yeah. masculine all right, the time. Right. Like, how are you gonna tap into other things? How are you gonna learn from other people and feel what they feel if you're only on guard all the time? You know what I'm saying? You right. gotta let your guard down. You gotta let people in once in the blue moon, and you gotta feel. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I be feeling, and I feel, feel. I feel. I feel. You know what I mean? I feel. Yeah. So, yeah, like, but yeah, that's, that's what I've been learning about men. And I feel as though everybody got to take their time. One thing that's different between men and women is women, we be taking our time. We'll figure out, we'll, okay, when we're young, we, we, we go through a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? We do damage. Everybody damage everybody, whatever. Hurt, hurt. Play, play, cheat, cheat. Whatever. You know what I mean? But... It comes a time in every woman's life where they really sit down and they meditate, well, not meditate, they analyze their self. And I feel as though men in general, you guys don't give yourself enough time to, yeah, to break away from everything and really think about, why do I feel this way? What trauma brought me that? Why the hell am I avoiding it? Am I, you know what I mean? Let right. all of that come through, right. but most you, men you don't do it. You want to know why? 
Hmm. Why? Because we don't have the time to. We don't have the time. What does that? What? That's an excuse. How don't you it have the time? Be. It might be because we don't have the time because we have to go out into this world and work and fight. That's it's not beyond working because that's a part of the battle. We have to fight. Men in general. Yeah, yeah. literally all that damn day long. What are you fighting? We're fighting. Especially for, for, especially for like a black man, I have to fight. I have to fight. Shout out to Jeremy. I Wait. have to fight with my internal struggles. Then I have to go into the world and fight against everything that's against me. But then answer me this: females, and especially black females, aren't doing that either. You are. But you also have the time to self-reflect. We don't... We don't... I'm going to say we don't have the time because we don't make the time. I was going to say, I don't think you give yourself but that, the time. But that's where I was getting to. And then especially if then we have a woman. Now we have to fight to keep you happy. Now we have to fight to provide for you. We have to fight to make sure our kids are straight mm-hmm. and we never get the time to say who am I as a man mm-hmm. because for us it's not it's, we're not, it's not about us it's about everybody else mm-hmm. when it comes to the support when it comes to the protection and the provisions Yeah. and for somebody who is maybe Weaker minded, they're not even thinking. Oh, I'm fucked up. I yeah. need to sit back part, and yeah. reassess myself, or even assess myself. Nobody want to acknowledge the pain that they've been through either. We don't take we don't take accountability mm-hmm. for the shit that happened to us, and how we react, and now then act because of the shit that happened to us. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. So that's why. All right. Okay. Because like I don't. And that's giving us a lot of credit. What I'm saying is just it's giving us a lot of credit. credit, Because I'm not speaking for the fucking. (laughs) I know. Because I'm like. uh, Yeah, I'm not speaking for the fucking. That's a whole nother topic. Right. Because I told I told her she was she had she went on this big tirade on uh on on IG and was like these these niggas is what what, what was was that conversation like about the masculinity and these niggas is. Oh, like a nigga could fuck all the bitches in the world and the double call standard. A woman a hoe the whole like you could be it a just, man hoe. You could, that, okay, so a hoe. that's what I just don't understand. It's like when men do it, it's okay. You a pimp, but it's the double standard that I cannot sit in my stomach. I hate when I see sorry when I see a man do that. Yeah. I hate when they be like, "Yo, my bro, uh, I'm dating a girl and I'm saying, and then I'm done with the shorty. One of my bros." You know, did what he did yeah. with her. Oh, it's cool with my bro, but she the hoe. Bro, right. your bro don't got loyalty. Yeah. Don't How he loyalty. talking to a shorty that she was just dating? Yeah. How you going to sit there and call her the hoe like she the problem, but your boy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I never understood? You know what I never understood? I never yes. understood it ain't no fun if the homies can't have no. Yeah. That's something I never understood. I don't want a chick that my partner even likes that's that's a fact let alone has put dick inside of it. okay right the, okay because the, i know uh, my partners my partners <laughs> are some trifling ass things. <laughs> so for you to then let him put dick inside you mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. i don't like it i don't like but it. then it's okay so if that happens you're gonna say something to your bro or just to the shorty um, that's the part that no, throws it's, my and mind. That's what it's, and that goes back to a point that I made, um, that I make a lot, because I work with kids. And I make a lot with my kids. It's like, y'all niggas ain't really friends. Y'all just fucking... And did you see my Instagram me. post today What'd about friends? What'd you say? It was like, yo, um, the, the moment I decide to call people my friends, mm. they show me why I don't use the word in the first place that's facts. but I thank you it's nothing but love now I know how to move and I'm gonna move out your way that's the part mm. my friends they know what's up that's facts. they don't talk to nobody I talk to right. Either, 
we don't even look at the same people. No. They already know what it is. I'm we not going to throw the hands. Types. We got different types. That's that part too. Yeah. And my friends, we got the loyalty, the respect for each other to know, yo, that's off limits. Yeah. Even if I think they cute, you, I'm good. Because I respect you as a person and yeah. I love you and I'm not going to hurt you. Because yeah. you know that's going to hurt me. You know what I mean? Facts. Facts. So yeah, that's Jeremy, what we talk about. Jeremy said, I fight the world. I fight my tears. I fight myself. Mm. (laughs) So, he said it. You know, like, it's, we are in a constant battle with self. I know, and it hurts. It does. It hurts me to see y'all go through it. And I want to help y'all, but it drained me, you know what I'm saying? You can't help every nigga. I know, I know I'm saying like that. I know that, but it's just the simple fact of like, I just really, you I heal. just want y'all you to get to, here. I do to want heal. y'all to heal. You are a healer. <laughs> yeah. And no, mo- a lot of niggas don't deserve to be healed. A lot of, so that what I've been th- learning that, too. And that that brings me, me to Because I'm like, uh, I don't want to leave somebody out like that. But I got to. Yeah. Got to. You have to. Yeah. That brings me to what we were talking about. Me and Kaz were talking about. It was like, y'all have terrible taste in the and then turn around and say it's no good niggas. I just had this conversation like, last night I'm with like, somebody too. I'm like, I'm like, bitch, I liked you since the, the, the second grade, and you never said what's up to me. <laughs> and I'm gonna make you happy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, it's, it's, I feel as though, I like, you know what I mean? For females, you know, when they're, especially since you said that since you were young, you were like, mm. they you know, they fall into the hype too. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, I want to chase the basketball player, the one who looked good. Oh, I know he did that to Tisha, but he ain't going to do that to me. I'm going to change him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I know females, we do that. We really do. I don't. You I don't, don't do that. Right. Like I said, the, the two men Anymore. that I've Anymore. dated, yeah. like me first. you know what I mean? Because I understand all females, yeah. you know, I am, I am my own self, so right. I know how I move. So right. I can't put myself sometimes in that category mm-hmm. but overall I will speak for women regardless because right. I can understand every you know part yeah. but like oh man I just got off oh. but yeah like the two men that I've dated mm-hmm. they were great men right. it just it just it didn't, didn't work. work out you know what I mean yeah. they never cheated or mm-hmm. did anything disrespectful mm-hmm. so for me I feel as though what you putting out there mm-hmm. that's what you gonna get yeah. you know what I'm saying like for real and how you carry yourself as a woman the men see it that's you know what I mean? They see it, and it's not, oh, she wearing this, so she a hoe, or it's that's not what I mean. Like, it's just how you your your aura. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if you put that good thing out, you're gonna get that good man who's gonna come to you. Right. The bad man is gonna get to feel the aura, mm. but he can't. You know what I mean? It's gonna burn him, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he gonna whoop, whoop, get out of here. What what you doing? Mm. This is not for you. Bye bye. I'm gonna you know be I'm gonna be nerdy real quick. You can't touch the power stone with your hand. Uh, uh, Nebula had to use her robotic arm to grab the power stone because if War Machine would have touched it, his arm would have fell off. Mm. And good pussy is is a power stone. (laughs) This episode is called Power Stone Pussy. Power Stone Pussy. (laughs) This episode is called Power Stone Pussy. (laughs) You can't touch it. It's going to burn you. That's a fact. But women got to realize, too, that they all got that. Yeah. You just need to know, like, how to use it and how not to use it. You know what I'm saying? And how to use the power. Because you have you have power and it's beyond, it's beyond, it's, we're saying it's in jest, but it's beyond, yeah. it's beyond the vagina. Like, yeah. It's, it's your soul. It's like, so... What would you on the on the flip side? What would you say to these fuck girls out here? Because they get on my damn nerves. They, they definitely get on, get on my, my motherfucking. They don't nerves. even get on my nerves. So I'll deal with them. So okay, <laughs> I don't got friends that be doing the shit either. But I know a couple of them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Name right now. What? Nah. <laughs> okay. That's too hot. You got it. You got it. Nobody listens um, to this. <laughs> they gonna. <laughs> Nobody listens to this. It's out there. Somebody <laughs> gonna hear it. You know what I mean? It's out there for a reason. Universe is doing a job. Yeah, yeah. You're here. Yeah. But I mean, the only thing I can say about those girls, there's two there's two types of fuck girls. Mm-hmm. 
there's the fuck girls who are gonna forever stay a fuck girl because they don't give a fuck. Yeah, nah, they don't care. Nah, nah. They they're more survivalistic. I'm gonna do what I do to get what I get, and that's that. Right. Period. Yeah. Use what I got to get what I want. Okay, hell, hey, I ain't even mad at it, sugar. Do you? But still, at the end of the day, you fucking people up on the way, and that's nice. what I don't like. Nice. And then the second type of fuck girl is like, damn, I thought I was just some dirty shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. Those type of reformed fuck girls. You know what I'm saying? All I can say to the fuck girls in general is, yo, y'all gotta chill for real. <laughs> like, I can go on and on about different things that I can suggest, but are you? Are they listening? No. Hell no. They too busy twerking. Okay. Hey, I like to twerk too. But they too busy twerking. <laughs> no, no, yeah, true. You gonna twerk and listen. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna bust that ass and then... What you say? Yeah, what you say? What? Okay. Huh? Huh? No. What you, what you do? That ass. Huh? Huh? But it all, like, I feel as though I can't even speak to them because, you know, it's all about perspective and your mentality. Like, yeah. I can talk to them some good game to try to, you know, get them to think differently. But at the end of the day, if you're not willing to make that change, you're not going to do it. Right. If you don't believe in what I'm saying, it's like, girl, whatever, go on. You sound like my mom. You sound mm-hmm. like my granny. Girl, get out my face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, it's, all I can do is just pray, honestly. A lot of fuck girl mamas or something. Hmm? So that a lot of fuck girls, they mamas was hoping. Yeah, I know. You know what? I love you, mom. Katrina Rudolph. I love you so much, girl. So, oh. Like, for real, because one thing, my mom, she's always been in, like, a long relationship. Mm. Couple of years, you know? Yeah. She, and if she did have, like, another guy, like I said, it's always... She'd been with this one for a while. It ain't work out. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom. And I've watched her, you know? I watched her deal with it. I've seen the ups and downs of her relationship, so I know that... The relationships that I see my friends in, yeah. I, that's not for me. Mm-hmm. I know that it's more than that. You know what I'm saying? I've seen my mom flourish in relationships. Yeah. And she kept me out of, like, going out. Like, I, I like to party. So mm-hmm. I was a badass. Look at this tattoo. Say rebellious. Mm-hmm. I was bad. I just like to throw that ass in a circle everywhere. Hey. But, no, nah, seriously. But, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, I still have my fun. But my mom put me in my place every mm-hmm. time. Like, mm-hmm. little girl, don't... <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Like, please, don't make me beat your ass. You and she beat fun. it in me. You can have fun. Yeah, but you still need to be respectful of yourself. Respectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what she taught me. My grandma, RIP, I love you, Greenie. She taught me that, too. Like, you are a strong woman. You can't just be running around doing all of the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I thought I seen something. I'm like, what? What? The reptiles. Um, <laughs> I get distracted quick. I'm run. But, um... But yeah, my mom taught me differently, and honestly, I'm so grateful for my mom for everything that she taught me, even though I feel as though she was dumb straight. She mm. really was, and I was just bad as hell. Yeah. That's just what it was, you know what I mean? You're still bad, girl. I am. <laughs> you know, I'm a bad shorty <laughs> and all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Call me Venus, three underscores, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, I really, really give praise to my mom and my grandma because they really instilled, they were strong women themselves. Mm. You know what I mean? And just watching them as I'm growing up, I'm like, damn, I want to be like Granny. I want to do that. Yeah. My Granny, she built the house. And, you know, I be at work building stuff, too. I like to do, like, there's a lot of different aspects of me that y'all don't even know. I like to plant all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I still will twerk. But, um, yeah. Still will twerk. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to throw that in there. Like you know <laughs> You put the succulent on your booty and turn No, I'm saying I, don't I got multiple succulents okay, right here. Okay, I'm just holding it. <laughs> got the aloe right there, yeah. But seriously, you like you also, you also um, are a poet. Yeah, and you know it. Mm. And if you don't even think, I will show it. I'm gonna show it right now. <laughs> Talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I see that. Right there. Look, the I see there. that. Right there. Loving heartache. Going through the motion series part one because the second series is going to come soon. LMP, I have a lot of names. Mm. This is Lakira McMurrin, poetess. Mm. <laughs> so when I'm like writing my book, LMP, that's still me. I'm Venus yeah. when I'm performing. Lakira, every day. <laughs> but yo, okay, so about this book, um, I told people years ago that. I was going to make a poetry book. Yeah. And my grandma, she inspired me because she passed away before she could even complete hers. And I'm like, Granny, I got you. Yeah. Like, she passed it to me, you know what I mean? And when, as I got older, I didn't know how to, like, express my feelings. So 
I learned through poetry how to express myself. Yeah. So this book is compromised of um, the relationships. I've been in three relationships my whole life, and uh, the feelings that I had throughout those three relationships, whether it be insecurity, me anger, or me feeling not worthy, I put it all in this book. Yeah. And I was terrified, like... They're going to know what I was <laughs> feeling when yeah. I wrote that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was like, it's okay. Like it I said, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it I'm like, I want y'all to know. Because I know people, journey. yeah, people have been through the same thing that I've been through. So what am I ashamed of? Yeah. yeah. And I'm really actually proud of this. This was really after, I finalized it after my breakup. The first boy I ever fell in love with. Ooh, he hurt me so badly. I was typing away. He was young. Yeah, he's still he young. Um, but yeah, no, he really inspired me even more mm-hmm. to pour it all out. Right. So when you read these, yeah, I was going through it. So funny anecdote. I received this through Amazon. Mm-hmm. This is not a plug. And I opened it up. I was like, what the fuck is this? I wasn't expecting a, a, a package. So I open it up, and it's this. And I'm like, who the fuck is LMP? So I looked on the back. I'm like... That's me. That's Venus. Yeah. Can you zoom in on this? <laughs> that's when I cut my hair. Short I'm hair like, cut. that's Venus on the back of this book. Mm-hmm. Why does Venus have my address? <laughs> 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 oh, that makes sense. What? <laughs> Why did she have my? How did she get my address? So then I, I like, <laughs> I, I sent you a video, and I was, and I took a video of this, and I was like, I don't know if I should be honored that you sent me your book. <laughs> Or creeped out that you have my address. No. So you tell me which one it is. You put it through Amazon. I didn't do shit. <laughs> so after I sent that message to you, Cass randomly hit me like, yo, I bought Venus' book. It's coming to your house. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so then I deleted. Shout out to Instagram DMs. You can just delete shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cause nigga, I was lost. I was like, <laughs> that makes sense. I'm like, what you mean? What a dream. I was lost, that makes fam. Sense. That makes sense. But yeah, just even that. When did you publish that? You're a published author. Yeah, August. Two weeks before I went to Hawaii. Is that this year? Last year. Okay, eighteen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, she's a public, <laughs> a published artist. She's an R&B singer. She's an actress. She's a botanist. What else are you? I'm a builder. A builder. If you want your house build, what up? I'm okay. with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can chef it up a little bit, but but you know what? I'm not even gonna put that on there. All right? I'm gonna fall back from that. You're not gonna you're not gonna put your chef skills out there. Like nah, that? because you know they. They are. They are. I'll build that house before yeah. I cook. I can cook, but you know, yeah, I would yeah. rather build and get dirty. Sit up, but I like to eat though, so. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, I feel you. I'm a fashionista. Mm-hmm. You know, if you didn't know. Hey. Um, hey, Beach Bar. Oh, sorry. Okay. You don't ever have to apologize for touching me, girl. I was just too. I just all the back. She just she just I'm paint like, me. She just right. paint me. Like, like, all right. I, I legit had no control over that. It just did its own thing. I'm like, oh shit, girl. Oh word, okay. Look at my feels. You know what I'm saying? Look at my feels. Wow. Here. Oh my goodness. It's my finger. Your dead ass. Um, I am. Oh my gosh. What? What am I? Uh, author. This. Um, I'm a singer, a songwriter. Yeah, yeah you said that. Yeah. Um, um. Oh man. Oh. You're a healer. <laughs> come on, come on. Um, I'm a teacher. Okay. Not teacher like yeah. that, but I teach a lot of people. And yeah. it shocks me how many people, mm-hmm. look here, you did it. I'm like, what? I didn't even, I just put it out there. I just put it out there. But okay, okay. Um, I'm definitely a motivationalist yeah. to, to the T. Like, you want to go work out? I got you, fam. Mm-hmm. You want to eat? I'm with you, fam. <laughs> what up? What you yeah. trying to do? You know what I mean? Um, um, I'm black. 
You you goddamn right. You are chocolate I loving. I am black. Um, do you, um, do you think that there is any? Have you have you been shown any negativity um, coming out here as a chocolate woman in the relationship department? No. No. Um, have you been hollered at by black dudes? Always. Always. Yes. So black dudes. I'm in. Here. <coughs> Excuse me. Chocolate. Black dudes do like dark skin women. Oh, they do. Yeah, yeah. White men do too. Yeah. The suits. They be looking, and I'm like, they. <laughs> I don't want no. Said Chad, you I better stop no looking at me. You <laughs> no know? lactose. No lactose. Yeah, we gotta. There's a milk lockout. Yeah, it's where it's, I need parts. Almond milk is is not white. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got its own little. A little tang it's tang, so those for my, yeah. my my Spanish people right all there. I got you. Yeah, often most people of color. Yeah, <laughs> but um, no, no, not. But you know what's weird? Um, I dated a guy. Um, I'm explaining his name, but uh, and he was Haitian. Mm-hmm. But in that relationship, I felt like, damn, I didn't even, I didn't want to be a black woman mm-hmm. because I feel like that's what he. He was more into like you know white woman yeah. than me, and you know he draws. So when he drew, that's all he drew. Wow. So you know me, I'm there, you know, um, supporting him. I want to support him, but of course I'm feeling like, damn, I feel my insecure. You know, I'm like I'm curvy. They like whoop whoop, and yeah. the total opposite, and you know freckles, and I don't got none of that. So I'm right. just like, damn, what the fuck? But the problem was is there was so much self-hating him yeah exactly yeah and i didn't realize that until after relationship from everything of me trying to do his hair he wanted his hair kind of like white men and yeah. he got frustrated with me because i couldn't do it and i'm like but you don't have that hair yeah texture. it's not even yeah i can't you know and it's and then i feel like all of the stuff that he was dealing with within inside himself i feel like it projected onto me and made me feel like that and i yeah. knew who i was but right. i was questioning myself because of somebody else <laughs> and i would never do that shit again you heard me? That's fine. Fuck no. Mm-hmm. That was too much. It took all of me. Like, I'm like, damn, I'm insecure as fuck. Mm-hmm. Really? Is am I really just insecure? No, he that? bled into Fuck no, yeah. And that's and that's what you that's what happens when you're an empath. Like a lot of your those emotions that you have aren't even your emotions. You're like taking that. them on from the people you're around. Yeah. You're you're they're they're taking your energy and leaving you the bad energy. Yeah, oh well. I just put that in one of my poems too. Really? It's called Another Lost Queen. Right. Thursday. I'm so Inner, sorry. you know, energy, energy cipher. Shout out to my, to my uh, sister. You know what I mean? And, and, like and it's called uh, Another other Lost Thursday. Queen. Another yeah. Lost Queen. Yes, Another Lost Queen, and that's exactly what it's talking about in the in that poem. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, this queen, she know herself, yeah. but she meets somebody that questions it. Mm. And it's like, dang, am I that? And at the end of the poem, all I just say, you know, she take her crown off and boom, another lost queen. Another black queen lost in the universe of yeah. what I need to look like to get this a person attention instead of being who she was raised to be. Facts. A goddess, a queen, you know what I'm saying? So, Thursday, come. Yeah. Hold up! Yeah. Um, yes. Um, is it... Is it a... Is it a... What do I want to ask you? Is it difficult to find somebody that you want to date? Yeah, it's very difficult. Why do you think that is? I feel as though my expectations mm-hmm. are very high okay. because I've seen what I let myself like date, mm-hmm. and it was never on my level. Mm-hmm. I always had to bring myself <clears throat> here. To feel equal with that person instead of meeting somebody that's at the same level with me, right. you know what I mean? And that's the problem. Like I'm only 23, but my you know my mindset is different than most 23 year olds. You know what I'm saying? And especially the men, they want to do all of the shit that I can care less for. You know, like the money, the bitches, yeah. the this and that. I I don't care. Yeah. I I just don't. I want something sustain that's gonna sustain my whole life yeah. forever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but so it's so dating, difficult. You're dating. For long term purposes. Yeah, like, I don't want to say it sounds it sounds so like old if I say that, you yeah. know what I mean? But it's like I just don't want something temporary because okay. if I want to have a fling, I'm a habit. 
I don't want you to come up in here, gas me up like we're gonna have longevity, and then it's cut. Yeah, the that's, fuck. Now that's I gotta what start it, all that's over, what happens. bro. That's what fuck happens. y'all. We think that you want a long term relationship, but we really just want to hit. Bro, you could just tell me that, and I'm gonna let you know if you can hit or not. You're not going to. The, but the honesty fact of it is where niggas get fucked off in the game. Uh, my biggest. My biggest proponent of relationship is communication. Uh, no matter what it is, good, bad, and yes, different. Yes, please tell I'm me. I'm going to tell you when I don't give a fuck. You tell me all this useless if girl information that, like, oh, today I did this. I'm like, yo, I'm not listening to nothing you talked about. Damn. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Like, I, I, I'm so tuned out. I, I love you. But I don't give a fuck right now. I feel oh, it. Nothing you talking about. <laughs> but you know, most people they they're not gonna do that. Yeah, no, no, no. Seriously, they like they gonna act like you you listening, and then they gonna oh man, that's crazy. Bro, I'm gonna give y'all the perfect example for real. The same ex, right? This nigga. Instead of telling me, you know, he was falling out of love with me, you know what I'm saying, for months. And I noticed it. I see it. He's not holding my hand. He's not kissing. He don't want to cuddle. I'm like, okay, what did I do wrong? You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of telling me that he was falling out of love with me, you know, he's he's like, oh, I'm just focusing on blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. Yep. Okay, you focusing. And me, I'm like, I'm going to give you space. No, I don't need space. Huh? I'm confused, bro. You're confusing me. Yes. And then you wait till after when another shorty comes in and you see, like, I'm, I'm like, why are you talking to her more than me? Da 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 this and that. And if it's just switch, like, I'm the new girl. Yeah. And this is the girl you dating type yeah. shit. And I see it and you like, no, it's not that. And then, um, oh shit, I'm like, who that writing? But, um, <laughs> but anyways, so he didn't tell me anything. And I felt it. I knew something was wrong. You know what I'm saying? And then after we broke up, that's when he was like, you know, I fell out of love with you. I'm like, why the fuck didn't you tell me that? I could have been Cause going he, Yeah, bro, he broke up with me one time, then got back with me for me. Mm. Don't do nothing for me. Facts. Don't do shit for me. That's I can right. handle my own pain, baby. Don't ever. That's, ooh, ooh, that shit is a, that right there will get you beat the fuck up. <laughs> oh, funny. God, don't do nothing for me, for real. Um, but yeah, he waited until after to tell me, and then he says, I did tell you I was I love you, bro. I wouldn't have been holding on if you would have been told me that. That's facts. Yeah, and, and that's the communication. Just, keep it real, just man. tell me, dog. Just tell me. And if females, when we do, you know, mm. tell you, you're like, bro, you doing too you much. Sure, but man, shit, yeah, at least we telling yeah. you. Yeah. Damn. We cause cause I'm gonna tell you. We trying to keep fucking you. We didn't even have sex. I'm just telling you something. <laughs> I'm just saying, trying, we can talk like, about we, it's like, yo, like, I don't want to, um, you know, I'm pretty much out of the relationship, but I still want to be able to have you. Man, that's so selfish. It is. It's, it's very selfish. So I'm going to have this bitch on the side who is giving me what you're not giving me or what I think that you're not giving me mm-hmm. and still keep you around because I want to still keep you around. That's trash. Trash. I don't. I. I'm trying to cut. I had a woman stay with me after I told her that I don't love you no more. Oh. Yeah. I'm done. Like she I stayed. She stayed with me, and I'm like, just leave, fam. Like I'm begging her. I'm like, yo, fam, cut. Like leave. Yeah, but yeah that's that's her own. Exactly. Yeah. Aww. And and it's and it's it's women like that who. Will not be alone. Cannot be alone. After we finally broke up, a month later she was with a nigga. Damn. And it's like, fam, you just got a nigga who look like me. That's scary. That's that's don't, borderline. Don't get a dark skinned nigga with locks, fam. After fucking with me. <laughs> At least you inspired. Cause. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I definitely, and I definitely inspired her. I definitely inspired her to elevate herself. Like you say, you 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 choose these people who need a little bit of boost. Yeah, it's like yo, she wasn't shit before me, and then after me, now she's you know an entrepreneur. She's yeah. more creative than she's ever been. I used to, I had a studio in my house. She used to record in my studio. Mm. I do your shit, girl. Fuck me. Do your shit. (laughs) 
That's true. And one thing I could say for ladies, our problem, even myself, what I did, what I learned from, is that we be so focused on our relationship that we don't have our own separate... And that's disgusting. It is so bad. Yeah. And we don't even mean to do it. It's right. just that you get, we just want to please you. Yeah, if you fall into it. Yeah, us. we just want it to be great. And and that's a problem. Men going to be like, yo, you suffocating the fuck out of me. So back lie. up. Get off me. I Jesus. you to have your own friends. You to yes. have your own plans. Not you everything got to be integrated. Life. Yes. That's our problem and as women. Let's... Let's lead separate lives, and then when we're together, let's dominate the world. Hey, I like that. You be a boss in your own marriage. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a boss in my own marriage, and we're going to fucking rule the world. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we got a couple comments, and it says, uh, men play games hard as fuck and, and act brand new when women get serious. And then she said, something is better than nothing mentally. Something is better than nothing. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's it's real. As in, uh, talking about as far as trying to keep you around. Oh, something is better because we try. Yeah, that makes sense. Mentalities of how yeah, we're still trying to feed off your energy, mm-hmm. but we don't want nothing to do with you. That's fucked up. It is. It's yeah, but that's really how draining. people are. Some, oh damn, man. Loss of identity. Do the relationship dependence. females and females yeah. be so dependent we're we're in yeah. our really we're in it yeah and my ex that ass said like yo like you all in my ass i'm like where else do i want to be hilarious what do you mean? I, I where am i supposed to be what the fuck i had a girl who like i lived with and we were like friends and we were cool i seen her cry through like shit you know as soon as she got her man and her baby daddy bread, it was over, right? It was a wrap. She was no longer my friend. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've lost so many goddamn friends because they have boyfriends and me being such a real nigga because I, like, <laughs> I, I have so many platonic friends that it's fucking crazy. But I cussed the motherfuckers out because like with my, with my relationships with my friends, oh, you going to get this work. You, you ain't call me in how fucking long, bitch? What is, what is you doing? Like, yeah. who is this nigga that, that got is all like, attention. they got all of your attention? Mm-hmm. But as soon as this nigga start fucking up, you calling my phone again. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, I, I cut so many of my friends out <laughs> so often. I cuss my friends out when they don't call me often, regardless of him having a man. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you a cat ass nigga, bro. I'm Who dead. What's wrong with you, nigga? <laughs> yeah. I go in on niggas. Shout out to Heine. Um. Hmm? I go in because, bro, you're not about to treat me fucked up as your friend. Mm-hmm. And I do everything in my power to make you happy. Yeah. I do everything in my power to support you and love you properly and to show you, uh, yo, these niggas is not all out here wild. Yeah. That makes sense. And then you're going to, mm hmm. That makes sense. You know what you're saying? How did you learn how to set healthy boundaries? <laughs> In your intimate relationships. Um. I know exactly what I want and don't want. And the universe. Gets, gives me exactly what I want. Um. Like to a T. And it's crazy. Uh, every so often. I just set my attention for. Certain things. And certain add-ons and additions. To my list. Um, we could talk about that real quick. What is what do you need in a man? What do I need in a man? Yeah, what is your t- what is your what is your man look like? Honestly, I just need a man want. Need I don't need a man, but I want a man that is able to communicate effectively to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What he wants and what he don't want. Like I just want you to be honest. Yeah. I need communication, I need honesty. I need you to be ready to build this fucking kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You trying to be my girlfriend? Huh? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a king out here. You, they call me Simba for a reason, man. I'm looking for a queen. Come on. Uh, Come on. Yeah. Be, I'm, and I'm, I'm so glad that you... I'm, I'm, I'm talking shit, but I'm so glad that you said that because anytime I, I've asked women is 
oh, well, he got to be taller than me. He got to be dark skin. He got to look like this. He got to have <laughs> he got to have X, Y, and Z. He got to have X, Y, and Z. Look, I attract some fine ass niggas, so I ain't worried about none of that. Period. I need you to come with the other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> okay? Right. The face, is, that's, that's cool, but... Are you built up structurally inside? Yeah. Okay. Facts. Are we going to, you know what I mean? Do I got to build you? Do you have you know a mental saying? illness? Okay. Are you going to break me down? I don't want that. I don't want it. Mm. I don't deserve it. Don't. Shout out to fucking Majestic again because she is so fire. She says, I deserve a lover who's going to consider me and all my energy before he tries to come at me. Oh, oh. <laughs> and and that's real, fam. Like when we when we meet y'all and we don't know y'all, especially on some like hey shouty like type shit. We don't know nothing about this woman. We don't know no type of heartaches, trials, tribulations. Nothing. You can see a fat ass and a pretty face. Okay, distracted. You see some, you see some big ass titties, pretty face. That's all you see, and you come in it lusty and y'all feel that right yeah it's like oh this nigga this but you can tell when a nut motherfucker is genuinely having yeah. a conversation with yes you. honestly even through dms right. i can feel that shit mm-hmm. and i'm like all right now i gotta talk to him a certain way because if i even try to talk to him this way he mm-hmm. gonna think something different right. and i don't want yep. that now i'm in that ass and i'm like Damn, and I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but men get so hurt. I'm like, oh, yeah, I just want to let you know now. We we, what up, bro? We go, we go Woo! from, we go from, oh, queen, you're beautiful to fuck you, bitch. Oh God, I'm like, damn, I'm still a queen, dog. I just don't want you. Like, let's not do that. You know what I mean? And that's so sad too. And another thing is the business aspect too. Like, one thing that I've learned since being out here is, damn, they're doing business. Well, I'm gonna wait. So they need to know this. They need to hear this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and one thing I noticed about being in the industry, you know, where, you know, it's more male dominated. Yeah, of, of course. You know, they think that every female that they talk to that's coming up mm. is going to do it's some fucking, crazy it's fucking for fuckery some shit. Yep. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you cute. Oh, I can talk to her real easy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to her slick, some gay. Yo, show yep. you what up. You want to do some business? Mm-hmm. How about you do this for me? I'm don't like, oh, you got track. me fucked up, bro. Right, right. Because right. you don't know who I am. Yeah. And if you talk crazy, I got a lot of brothers yeah. that'll come take a flight. So you better think about who you're talking mm-hmm. to. One, just like you say, you mm-hmm. don't know females. Yeah. Y'all don't know how savage my brothers are. Man. So don't ever try to come disrespect this one. I'm afraid. You heard? Yo, Will, what up? He ain't on there, but I, I didn't even know she had brothers, and I'm. Still I have afraid. a lot of brothers. I'm still afraid. And look, so my I, Cuban side of the family is really scary. Oh yeah, I'm not They're scary. Either. So I, you can't meet my girlfriend. <laughs> so even if he was gonna say yes, I, I revoke. Back back to the train. Wait, Let me take that back. Can I tell y'all something real funny, though? Exactly. My dad, OG Harlem, you know, yeah. Cuban, real, for real. Yeah. What's up, daughter? Now, yeah. how my baby girl doing? Hey. Right? So, he calls me. He's like... Shout out okay. to the good fathers, man. Okay? Because my dad, he, he really good. He like, oh, I seen your, uh, your music video. Yo, who that chump <laughs> in the music video? Because he got me feeling some type of way. He was acting, Pops. I'm like, dad, <laughs> who are you talking about? He was like, yo, that nigga with the... Yo, he gets... Like, like, look, he done changed his ways, but... Yeah. Yo, when it comes to his baby, he yeah, go crazy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like, dad, there's nothing like that. He's just acting. He was We're like, acting. acting, are you sure? Because I can get somebody right now. I'm like, that is good. Said, it's really you good. You said, you better be cool before I start acting. Okay, hello? <laughs> before I start clapping out here. No fireworks. Man, you feel me? You feel me? You dig? Uh, All right. Four for All right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to my dad, though, for real. Shout out to the But yeah, no, for real. Like, men, they, they, you, got, you just got to... You can't just talk to any female any type no. of way because you don't know how she's going to take it. You know what I'm saying? You got to ease she up might in that the, thing. She might be the killer. This, Like, I'm so... I'm so afraid to even go to women's houses. Oh. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. know these bitches, bro. Because, yeah, if somebody can have a knife right up on it, whoop! I'd be like, who you live with? I told with? you to stop. Who you live with? <laughs> like, who who coming over? You live alone, like... Oh, that's a fact. Like... Who got keys to the... Yeah. keys to the house, bro? Like, that's the... 
That's how niggas oh, die, bro. That is them scary, too. To just go to a chick's house, especially not knowing her. You don't all off of lust. lust. All off of lust. Get your life done. All off of lust. All off of lust. Mm-hmm. It's ugly. And and now you you you, you blowing a, a nigga's wife's back out. And she ain't told you she was married. Yeah. Skeezes. 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 That's, that's I don't like that shit either. I am not with the cheating dog. Powers. Yeah, <laughs> keep buying a represent. Damn. Do you, <laughs> do you think where do you where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you see yourself when you're my age at twenty eight? Five years. I see myself on a different platform, as in. Right now, I'm on ground level. Mm-hmm. When I get to your age, I want to be like, all right, so say there's, there's three levels. Yeah. I want to at least attain this level or right. somewhere close to the second level. Right. You know what I mean? I can't tell you exactly because it changes. Right, so right. I can't, you know, well, whatever. Mm-hmm. But in my mind, I know that I want to be a singer. Okay. I'm going to be a singer. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drop another poetry book. Mm-hmm. I'm going to drop my R&B EP. I'm going to drop these hits for everybody. Yeah. And y'all gonna know. Mm-hmm. Y'all gonna know my story in due time. Yeah. I'm I'm glad that you keep saying it like that, just sharing your story. Cause motherfucker just call it making music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna make these songs. And they be Drop ass. Yeah. They be ass. Make some notes. Ass. She was about to. She was, I was about to. I'm about like, to say your name, like, bitch. I'm not going to do it. It's okay. We're not going to give them no shine. But honestly, I like I said before, I just appreciate you. And I appreciate what you do and how you do it. Um, whenever I see you have the, the utmost class and respect for self and it's rare in the land of IG thoughts. <laughs> she she said uh, on IG one day she was like, "If I get if I get to a hundred likes on my video, I'm gonna t- post a Tory video." <laughs> I was like, "Well, I'm gonna record it to make sure that it's high class quality." <laughs> I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "That's weird." And he was like, "Oh." She's like your awkward ass. Yeah, I'm right. Like, she awkward ass. Like, 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 it's like, only weird if you make it weird. Yeah, but ass, I girl. always make it weird. I'm like, what? That's just weird. Like, <laughs> the video coming soon though. Pop that ass for a good one. <laughs> we out here. It's like I don't know. That's like my own personal thing. I, I just want to yeah, do it myself. You know what I mean? I get it. I told you you can have my. You can use my camera. Like at, at the very least. <laughs> you just high say quality, that, quality, but I didn't yeah, understand yeah, what he meant. I was like. What? I was like, what is he talking about? I was like, fuck, I don't like none of that shit. And he's like, oh, you gotta have Shahad come too. I'm like, yeah. that's even more. My friend. She should come Just sitting there watching me yeah. shake that ass. Are you serious? That's all y'all do. I, like, in my brain, all women do is shake their ass in front of their friends. Yeah, but like, not Shahad. My roommate. Yes, yeah, Shanika. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> okay. So she won't be. I won't be filming her popping that pussy for because it's not gonna be that long. <sighs> Unfortunately, so <laughs> it's my nigga, man. Um, Yo, I don't. At this point, I'm just. Right. I'm just having fun. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm done talking to you. Um, Damn. <laughs> I mean, like, also, like. <laughs> Like, like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right at this point, we well, just, dang, we just I mean, cracking like... jokes at this point. <laughs> right. Um No, nah, yeah, and I and I and I and I look forward to to seeing your progression. I look forward to seeing your growth and I I, I will I look forward to helping that progression and growth. And this is one part of this is like, one part of I, I love it. I'm promoting you. Whatever is this your first I can podcast? do. Yeah, this is my first time. That's why I'm like, am I talking too much? Am I not talking enough? No, you're literally I'm like, you supposed what? to be I'm talking. Gonna, yeah, I know. You <laughs> said that, and I'm just sitting here like, yeah, no, no, you have to speak. <laughs> this is a podcast. People will listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. Right, because it's fire to watch. Yeah, but 
gotta be fired to listen to. It. Yeah, and it is. Yeah, drop a little gem. No, I'm saying, and anything I could do for you guys as yeah. well, let me know for real. Right. Love is always whoop, whoop, 360 oh, in my book. Everybody I met is always like that, and I love it. Mm-hmm. It's so genuine, it's so real, it's so yeah. that shit rich. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything that you want to ask us as men now that you have us in your grasp? <laughs> Um. Hmm. As men, yeah. what do I need to ask you? What do you need to ask us? Because speak now, if I ever heard your piece. That part. You'll never have another man. <laughs> hey, look, my best friend is a man, and we talk all day, every day about everything. So. Shout him out, Marquez Smith. You already know. Ya tu sabe. I love you. Um. Ya tu sabe. Um. But what do I have to ask men right now? Um. Okay, so this I just I just really want to know. I'm very curious. Okay. So three inches. If you love, okay, wow. I'm sorry. Never mind. <laughs> We're not gonna. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I'm just. <laughs> hey, it's hot. Just right. It's, been, it's <laughs> been a minute. It's, it's, I'm it's done. been a minute. I'm just talking shit at this point. It's been a minute. Go ahead. Go but, ahead. Um, <laughs> It's been a man. <laughs> she aware, but um, no, I really got a like That's a question. Funny. I just yeah. really want to know. So, if you're with a woman for a while and you just happen to cheat on her, do you feel as though it's your right to win her back? Oh, you talking about if she finds out? Wow. Because she's not about to find out. Damn. That's respect. That's horrible. It's respect. It's respect to if cheat. I cheat. If no, if I cheat on you, you're not going to find out because I respect you. Because me cheating on you ain't got shit to do with you. I'm fucked up in in life. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you feel bad. I love you. I don't want you to feel bad. Okay, so of, what if a woman did that insecurity. and you don't know? Oh, don't tell me you cheat. I don't want to know. <laughs> Talk about it. If you're paying me. No, we're not paying you, Mario. We're not paying you, Mario. Stop, stop it. Stop it. We're not paying you. We're not paying you. Okay, but okay, so that, that shit doesn't make no sense to me either. But I, I guess men logic, men logic, if you don't know, it yeah, won't I hurt continue you. continue asking questions. But it but, just okay, blew so, my mind. So I, that's, this that's, is exactly why. But that's me. But that's me. Because I'm, first off, what I'm, prompts you to cheat if you're in love? Love don't have nothing to do with sex. For men, you guys can break that away. Of course, you can. Of course, I, you. love and sex you are can. synonymous. I don't know because if I'm I can truly in have love sex with, with someone, someone, I don't love. No, yes, and I can when love I'm not in a relationship, who I never have sex with. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's true. But if you're in a relationship and you're committed to this person, mm-hmm. then why are you going to do that? And why don't you just break up with them I don't and like, do you? I don't like the word commitment because what the definition of commitment is, um, I want to get this right. It is the the lack of freedom of choice or the absence of freedom of choice or something like that. Mm-hmm. And that means I am obligated to choose. Mm-hmm. And personally, I don't want to be obligated to you. I want to choose you I want to I want to cheese choose you purposefully I don't want to choose you because I have to choose you. yeah I don't want to have to, I don't want to feel like my hands are like this and you're you the only person with the key mm. that's that's me um this niggas that cheat who don't give a fuck it's niggas that cheat you seen baby boy I lie to them because I don't care about them. Or I tell them the truth because I don't give a fuck about them. I lie to you because I love you. I Yeah, I love you. Sometimes I have sex with other women. I don't know why I do it. I just do. Sometimes, sometimes we just want to fuck some hoes, man. Like, but why can't y'all just do that? Not dealing with somebody that's giving her all. Mind you, you know women is in tune with the relationship. Right. So why won't you just separate that? So okay, okay. Are we are we taking cheating by just having sex or 
am I now treating you differently because I'm treating her differently? Am I now dating two people or am I just fucking bitches? Those are two different things. They're still bringing food home. <gasps> yeah, because I'm, I'm taking care of the house at home. But when I'm not at home, I'm, I'm putting dick in the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I just I mean I understand the freedom that you guys will feel you know what I mean I get it I understand you can separate both of that but for me if I truly like you know what I mean mm. really fuck with you mm. I know that I'm not bound right. I know that I'm free to do what I want to do but mm. we're in a relationship together mm. and I'm not going to do anything I know is going to hurt you right. in the long run mm. because what you guys fail to realize is even if you she never you think she never find out better. So it's it's like I I'm going to answer your question. Your question was what is it? Why do I or should I win them back? Or what was the question? Actual question. Damn, I forgot. It's 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 it's, what it was. uh, If a man cheats on a woman. Does he feel he has the right, right to, to win, win her back? back? Yeah. Why? When you already broke what you guys because were doing. that shit because because sex isn't the end all be all. That's understandable, but so if you mad that I fucked the bitch, we can get through that. Together. We can get through that. So she can go do that too if she needs to. If she needs to. Also, what are your what are the boundaries in your relationship? I was gonna say what maybe type of, what type of relationship do you have? We and talk, open because that's what to, it sounds like. I talked to Shahad about this. Mm-hmm. There are different types of relationships, yes. and as adults, we create what our relationships look like. True. We we open, every time we talk about relationships, we automatically assume we're talking monogamous relationships. Mm-hmm. And oh, that, I know that's not true. My roommate, she should polygamy. Polygamy. That's that's a thing. Shout out to everybody who do it. Yeah, that's what I meant. You know, it's it's two different things. That's yeah, two different. Yeah, I mean, uh, polyamorous. Polyamorous. Polygamy. Right. Uh, uh, swinging. Like if I if you my wife, and you want to fuck other niggas, and I'm watching you fuck other niggas, that's not cheating. That's y'all thing. That's not cheating. So okay. even though even though you may be cheating because you're fucking other dudes. Mm. Outside of our relationship, it's not cheating in the context of our relationship. Because you guys built that. Because we built it. That's understandable. Because Most that's people don't do that. that. Something, and that comes with communication. True. Niggas who... All right. Nigga, you got it. Because I can cheat on you and never disrespect you. You know, I can never physically disrespect you. I'm never physically abusive. I'm never verbally mm-hmm. abuse you. I, like I said, take care of house at home. If I make you happy every single day, why can't I get my dick sucked by somebody else? Then why? Just tell me that. Answer that question. Did he wake up? No. Oh. Because if you want to do that, be single. Why do I have to be single to get my dick sucked? Well, I mean, now that you're saying in different relationships, now mm-hmm. is a different aspect to it. So right. I can't really speak on it for the simple fact that. You know, but not everybody is open to that. I'm just speaking for them. I come home every single day and make you Why happy. can't she just suck it? She already doing it. If you bored, break up with her and go do it. I don't need to break up with you to go get my dick sucked. But it's like, I just don't understand how... That's stupid. Why would I break a whole... whole Why would I date with? somebody if I have eyes, if I want to even think about having sex for somebody else? We want to well, fuck bitches. Then go be doing that single. No, I love you. That's horrible. But do y'all understand? We are fucked up. I know, but you, you know what you're doing? You're creating another fucked up woman who's never going to be fully able to trust niggas. They're going to think that mentality, all niggas is the same mm-hmm. because of this reason right here. Right. And then the cycle can continue on, but this shit needs to stop. If the communication also, isn't... Go ahead. I'm getting heated. Go ahead. No, like good, if the communication good. in the beginning of the relationship is not established mm-hmm. and you doing that shit, if you fucking her up. If the communication is not established in the beginning, you are fucking her up. I agree. Um, and it also, like I said, it also goes back to that communication. If if you know your nigga got bitches, that might not be the nigga you want. That part. That part. Y'all know y'all niggas. 
Y'all know what type of niggas they, they are? He is, yeah. And sometimes, and sometimes, the cheap don't even be cheap. I just might actually care about this person. And we know when to have sex, but you see our text messages, and now you're upset. Mm. You don't have to be upset at my relationship with somebody else. Mm-hmm. And that's where that's where beyond. And I'm, and I'm like I keep saying, I'm not talking about a person who's disrespecting. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about somebody who's doing what they need to be doing, who might have just met somebody and connected with them. Mm-hmm. And it's like, do I... I know I have this woman, but can I explore this? Do I explore this? Mm-hmm. I can't explore this without you break, breaking your heart. Mm-hmm. So, what I do? I go be sneaky. I do it behind your back. Mm-hmm. Because I still want to explore. I'm I'm a human being. I And in, in monogamous relationships, we cut ourselves off of connections because we have a relationship. Mm. There's so many times where it's like, I, I, oh, I got a boyfriend. Bitch, I wasn't even asking you out. I actually, what time it <laughs> I was. I never did that. Actually, That's what OD. time it was. <laughs> it's, it's time. Oh, my boyfriend has my watch. Don't tell me about your boyfriend. I, I don't <laughs> even know you. It's, 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 it's that immediate, I'm guarded because if you, whatever it is that, because you're a man, I know what men want. So I'm going to immediately cut to the chase right now. You can't have me because I'm, I have a boyfriend. Mm. And I might be someone who could help you in your life. In general, a different aspect, right? <laughs> True. We all have these relationships and connections with people for different reasons. Mm-hmm. So you being my girlfriend, I might walk down the street today and bump into somebody who feeds me differently than you do. Mm, that's understandable. Okay. And okay. like your exes, I'm sure they fed you in different ways. Mm. Even men in your life that you're platonic with have fed you in different ways. Definitely. So it and especially it's especially when he's not being malicious, it's it's more so like I I need to figure this out. Okay. Sometimes it takes me fucking her to notice that oh we don't need to do this. Mm-hmm. And then if you find out now I lost you and I don't have her. And I really didn't even want her. Mm-hmm. I just had to see if I did. Trial and error. Yeah. Sometimes we just want our dick sucks though. Like sometimes we just don't want you to suck our dick. Sometimes, sometimes, because there's things, there's things that me, us having sex is going to be completely different than me having Absolutely. sex with some broad. Must it's be. things that I'm going to do to her that I'm never going to do to you. Mm. And sometimes we need that primal release. Mm. And we're not about to do you like that. Because <laughs> then we can't look at you. <laughs> we can't look at okay. you. Okay, okay, I can... That's why niggas pay for pussy. Like, I can I can just do whatever I want to you and then you'll never see me again. That's why niggas pay for pussy. <laughs> okay. You I pay them to you leave. Mean. Got you. Get the fuck out, bitch. You're not my girlfriend. We don't have to cuddle after I painted your face. Like, leave. Here's your hundred dollars, here's your thirty dollars. And cut. Mm-hmm. Is there any more questions? No. No. Nope. That satisfied your your yeah your thirst for man knowledge. You like how I like went completely wild and brought it back with logic. Yeah, and I'm like I'm a smart nigga. That shit got me tight too because I'm like yeah. Cause you came me back. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm like just go off the deep end one time, one time, and he was like, oh, fuck, you just rounded it back. I'm a smart man. But it all makes sense, honestly. It really yeah. do when you step out and you put yourself in that posi- mm-hmm. in this position, yeah. a man yeah. position. I'm like, okay, I get it. All right. Mm-hmm. So, before we get out of here, I like to leave the 
audience with a diagnosis and something to think about for the next, for the weeks. So this is Venus, Venus, Venus. the diagnosis. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. yeah. This is the diagnosis. Okay, my, my, again. This is. The diagnosis. That's my favorite part. Um, and honestly, yes. Um, me personally, um, I in a relationship, I let you do whatever the fuck you need to do for yourself uh, in order to be happy. Mm-hmm. So if that means you go dating some other nigga and you still come home to me, that's fine. Um, if you need to go and explore whatever relationship mm-hmm. you need to explore. I mean, I'm still here. It's not, it just, doesn't, I respect that. Yeah. I just want people to listen to this because mm-hmm. they need to hear this. Yeah, and, and, and communicate it. Mm-hmm. Communicate it. Personally, I don't want to know that you fucking a nigga, but I do want to know that, yo, know, like, I'm the type of nigga that um, if I'm with somebody and, you know, they are out with someone else, I like to talk about their, their dates. How was your date? Let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. How does he? How does what he does differ from what I do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah. So uh, number one, um, faith in self. Faith in self is the most powerful thing you can have because when you have faith in self, the universe conspires to make you happy. <laughs> number two. <laughs> Don't fuck with a a young lady with gangsta ass family. Cause you might die. <laughs> three three in in relationships, in friendships, in business. Be professional and communicate properly. You can't you, you nothing works without communication. Even even if you're pissed off. Even if you're irritated, tell me, please. Let me know because then I can change it. Don't sit around with the stank face all goddamn day and don't tell me what's going on. Mm-hmm. Because now, don't go around like, "Oh, this nigga ain't shit. Yeah. He don't do this." Okay. You talking? You telling all your girls this? Have you told him? Mm-hmm. Have you told him how you felt? No. You just want to complain about it. Yeah. And vice versa. Oh, my bitch, my bitch is doing this. My bitch would be tripping all the time. My bitch would be doing this. What is she saying to you? Are you listening to what she's actually saying to you? Or are you just listening? Are you just saying, oh, she's bitching? Mm-hmm. Because you don't want to hear that shit. You trying to watch the game or trying to play 2K. Bum ass niggas. Uh, last but not least, create the relationship that you want. And don't sway on your boundaries. If your boundaries is you can't talk to another uh, a girl, you're wilding. But I understand. <laughs> if it's if your your deal breaker is if you put your penis inside of her, it's over. Stick to it. You're wilding, but stick to it. You don't. And then on the on the on the on, on the opposite of that, it's like you don't have to be upset that your mate cares for somebody else. Yeah. True. Because we all, there's a multitude of people in the world. Not to mention America. Not to mention just the city that you live in. You're, you're, you're going to connect with somebody. No matter if you're in a relationship or not. True. Yeah. So, be open. And be open to differences in, in your relationship be open yeah. to changing what you want your relationship to look like then it's challenge the tradition challenge the tradition mm-hmm. the last one challenge the tradition challenge the tradition the shit that you was taught the shit that you learned the shit that you think you know say fuck that and mm-hmm. debate the opposite side and see what you get mm-hmm. Venus I, I love you I'm, I'm proud of love you me too. and I, I want greatness from you Tell tell my millions of, of, of followers and fans where they can find you. You can find me on IG at Call Me Venus. 
three underscores. You can find me on YouTube as well at Kwame Venus. You can find my book, LMP. That's also me. You know what I mean? Love and Heartache Part One on Amazon. How much was it? I forgot. Ten dollars, I think. Yep. Ten dollars. I know y'all can do it. Y'all can do that. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I'm That's sure. a blunt. Look at look at this. I'm cute. She Why cute. would you not want that in your house? I was like, ooh, that is. <laughs> oh girl. And then I started stroking it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, follow me on IG guys. I follow back and I'm grateful to be here. I'm glad you have me. I'm out here. Here. Hey. Oh. Hey. 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 So yeah, hey. follow That's my man's. Life. <laughs> sexual harassment I feel uncomfortable <laughs> well I don't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> and with that the more back in this thing thing one more time bro shout out to Young Casanova the <clears throat> producer extraordinaire shout out to Venus shout out to the whole dope squad shout out to Majestic June shout out to Jeremy shout out to everybody in the chat shout out to y'all man we are the best man I am the best man you are the best man she is the best man. We are the best man pod, man. And we out this thing.